Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. And in this episode I am going to mention a couple of little hidden gems that were added in C++17's standard library. I am continuing to use the Compiler Explorer to demonstrate the examples that we are looking at today. So we have two new functions and it is GCD and LCM. So that is least common multiple and greatest common divisor. So let's go ahead and throw these out there and see what we get. So our GCD function is pretty straightforward. It is just the greatest common divisor between two values. So if we wanted the greatest common divisor between 14 and 21, we should get 7 returned. And we did. We've got 7. And we also have our least common multiple. So this is the smallest value that has the two passed in values as factors. So we can see here with our LCM of 14 and 21 we get the value 42 because 21 times 2 is 42 and 14 times 3 is 42. So these are really straightforward functions, but they can come in handy when you're doing things like, say, trying to subdivide a grid of pixels and you want to you create evenly sized blocks depending on the resolution passed in. So if you wanted to know a nice handy round way of dividing 640 by 480, we can see that 160 is the greatest common divisor. So that gives us a 3 by 4 grid of... 160 pixels and that makes sense because 640 by 480 is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So we have both GCD and LCM and they uh, are functions that have been around for a very long time but what makes them probably the most interesting and I will go to their definition to show you why here is they are implemented as const expr functions and this is great because we can get some guarantee that if we're doing these things with constant values that are passed in at compile time, the compiler will calculate them for us at compile time and they'll have absolutely zero overhead. So in the case of this code, we are not relying on the compiler to optimize it for us, at least in this case, well we are here, but that's because we have not forced a constant expression context. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick just to prove my point. Now by putting it in this const expr auto context, I'm forcing the compiler to evaluate at compile time, and now you can see the value 160 is being returned from main at compile time. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.